Welcome back for another video. So in today's video, I'm just gonna update you on my friend's 100,000 gallon aquaponic system, duck ponic system, swim pond, whatever you wanna call it. If you haven't seen the previous video on it, I'll leave a link right up here in the corner as well as in the description so you can check that out, basically the beginning process of how it looked originally. Otherwise, if you do want your aquaponic system or pond featured on my channel, just shoot me an email at vonponics at gmail.com. I'll leave it down here right below so you can check that as, out as well as in the description. Other than that, let's get to it. So here we have the first look at the pond. Here on this side, what we're looking at right now is the spot where the fish are gonna be. You can see he has some ducks in there. So it's gonna be a combination of a duck ponic system, basically he's gonna have a bunch of ducks in there and then he's gonna have the fish at the bottom. So here on the right where the ducks are, that is the main pond and then the back there, that's where the ducks and the chickens are gonna be. Along here is a stream, which is gonna have a lot of rafts in there. As you can see, there's some rafts there. It's not complete yet, but it's getting there on top. There is some fiberglass grow beds, which are all bought on Craigslist. Those are gonna be used as media grow beds. You can see some of them already have some media inside. That gray water tank right there is gonna act as some sort of filtration before it goes into these media grow beds. So it's either gonna be a radial flow filter or filled with some media or something, some sort of catchment. On the right over there, that stream is gonna be filled with lava rock. It's gonna act as a sugar cane grow area or basically a media grow place. It has plenty of more space. So that this was added on later so it wasn't an initial design but this is giving him more spaces to grow you can see all the plumbing on the left there that is all off one pump that is split off and has valves so you can regulate the flow and then here it goes back into the mainstream so it all circulates you can see some lava rock already in there the water level is low it does have to fill, be filled up it is low because he has to seam some areas but you can see the, the floating rafts it is quite dusty at the areas so they got Dusty pretty quickly, but I believe he's gonna put some mulch down later on. Now here we're going towards the swimming pool area. First before there, there's gonna be a big bog. On here it's gonna be another stream going to the right, and then right over here, I believe on the left, is gonna be just for some koi or whatnot. And here you see that bog before it goes into the swimming pool itself. There's another fiberglass tank that will be used for something, some sort of grow, bog, or whatnot. That place on the with the dirt on the right is gonna be used as a bog as well. And right here, what we're looking at is a swimming area. So it's got some shallow other places and a deep spot for jumping in. Still has to put the liner in cement. You can see it was flattened out quite a bit to prevent any big pieces of of dirt sticking up to make it uncomfortable to walk on. It is gonna be slimy though when you swim in there, but it should act as a good swimming pool since it's a good size. You can see right there, kind of that on the left, there was a spot where it was seamed right here in this little area we have an air pump already right there where those rocks are, it was seamed as well. And then it's back at the stream. You can see how it, the water enters the mainstream from those media grow beds. It just goes back via a two inch pipe. They're gonna be a constant height. There is no bell siphon on there or anything. They're just constant height media grow beds. Here he has some temporary plants in there just to keep them moist well. Awesome. while he's working on the place. And then again, here is the fish place where the fish are going to be. On the left, you can see the spot for the ducks and chickens and whatnot. And then you see those big conical tanks all the way at the back. Those are for filtration that are going to be used on the system somewhere. And now we're getting into some drone footage. You can see it from the top. Aerial footage really gives it a different perspective than from just on the ground. You can see how big it is. That stream is almost 90 feet. I would say the longer one on the left and the one on the right is smaller. It was used, I think, a 15 by 100 for the one on the left. I'm not sure which size the one on the right was used.
Well, that pretty much sums up this video. Just showing you an update on my friend's aquaponics system. It will take some time for him to complete it just because he basically has to come up with the funds to do it and spend the time to finish the project. It is gonna cost a bit, so it's just a matter of time. Otherwise, I'll continue to update you as the progress goes along. If you do want your pond or aquaponics system featured on my channel, again, just hit me an email at vonponics at gmail.com. Otherwise, I appreciate your support and thank you for watching.